What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new here, well here we're all about a smarter, more sustainable approach to fitness and martial arts for older guys. Like myself, I practice judo. I've been doing that for about uh, five years and I also practice Brazilian Jiu Jitsu six years prior to that. And of course, a whole bunch of other martial arts uh, during my whole life, right? So that's my thing. Let's get into it. Stretching. This is what I want to talk about today, guys. It's really important, okay? And the reason being is that we, we, we give it, we pay it lip service, right? So what I mean by that is that everyone knows it's important and everyone kind of does it sometimes, and, but we don't take it seriously enough. As older guys, we should, we definitely should. And it's kind of like vegetables, right? We know it's good for us. We know we should eat a lot often, every single day, but we don't do it, right? You guys know that. So stretching is kind of the same way. Now, I want to explain to you guys the benefits of stretching. And maybe I can change your mind and convince you to really stretch more. Make it part of a daily routine. And I know it doesn't sound sexy, but wait until I explain it. So as older guys, we gotta be a little bit more careful because while we're older, we've accumulated more damage, so we can get away with a lot less than our younger counterparts. Full range of motion, ROM, R-O-M, that's range of motion, okay? Now range of motion, why is that important? Well, if you have full range of motion, what translates to, what that translates to is speed. You can go faster, right? Because you can use the elasticity of your muscles, kind of like power that's stuck in an elastic and just like snaps, you know, you pull it and you let it go and bang, it goes, right? So that's the idea behind it. So you can pick up speed if you have full range of motion. You're faster. Now, get this. Speed equals power. For young guys, for older guys, it doesn't matter, right? Whether it's running, boxing, judo, whatever, having full range, it's gonna change your life. Recovery. You recover faster when you stretch. Blood circulates. Uh, through that muscle more and it gets uh, it helps to get rid of the lactic acid quicker right and you recover faster guidelines I want to talk about the guidelines on how to stretch okay because now that we understand the benefits it's important to know what the guidelines are and this is this is slightly different most likely from what you guys have heard but I want you guys to try this and then from there be be, um, be the judge for yourself okay now you gotta warm up before you stretch. You can't stretch cold. It's dangerous because you could pull a muscle, you could tear a muscle if you go too hard. So you gotta warm up. Now, how long of warm up? Of a, what's considered warm, right? Well, you gotta break a sweat. Get the cardio going enough so that you break a sweat. It could take you five, 10 minutes, usually 10, and then you can stretch. Now, when you stretch, you have to get into what I call comfortable tension. That means that you just get to the point where it's comf there's tension and you're comfortable. That's it, that's all. Do not go into discomfort or pain. With time, you're gonna get more and more flexible and then you just keep going, right? So this is something that you have to do on a regular basis. So you have to do this every single day. Now, how long do you have to hold a stretch? 60 seconds, guys. 60 seconds is how long I want you guys to hold each stretch. Now, it's better to do less stretches for your body and hold them 60 seconds than it is to do a, a shitload, okay? And just hold them for like 10 seconds or 15 seconds. This is the way to do it. You wanna lengthen the, the muscle, right? 60 seconds, try it. You gotta breathe, breathe through your stomach, right? Diaphragm breathing, and you gotta relax. So the way you breathe is that when you breathe out, that's when you're going into the stretch. And then when you want to take a little uh, pause, you know, you want to back off a little bit, that's when you breathe in for your stomach. There you go, guys. Stretching, benefits, the guidelines, okay? And two other little tips that I want to give to you guys is that I know that sometimes stretching could be a boring thing, right? And Hey man, even if you only stretch for 10 minutes a day, that means 10 different stretches, that's fine. You know, you build your way up. If you could actually schedule time for it, I think you should because I do, it's important. 
then what you could do is simply you listen to music because I know it can or well, music or some kind of podcast. I hope I was convincing enough for you guys, right, to uh, to incorporate this into your into your life. I think that it's going to have tremendous benefits. <clears throat> and if you guys are, are like me, you probably have a bunch of injuries that you're dealing with, shoulder mobility, this and that, you know, your knees, your back, all kinds, of, you know, and it helps a lot. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. So if you like the video, please like it and leave a comment down below. Of course, if you share the video, then, uh, you know, sharing is caring, helps me grow. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, and before I leave, I want to give a huge shout out to my video editor. Okay, responsible for uh, pretty much everything you see here. Uh, the intro, this, the that, the lighting. So his name is Christian Pham, right? So huge shout out to him. Uh, show him some love, guys, and go over to his IG page, right? And that's it, guys. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one.